guys, welcome to my soapy kitchen. This is me playing with horse chestnuts and water. That's it. That's all that is, and it's pretty incredible. I've already shown you how to make your own laundry soap, and you can add fragrance. I am totally loving the uh, buttermint right now in my um, laundry room. It's the best <laughs> scent for the season. I think that's my favorite. So we're going to also make a buttermint um, tingly shampoo with this, and it's I have to say I've been using it for a while now and I am absolutely enjoying it. So if you haven't um, seen any of the episodes on the chestnut, the horse chestnut, I suggest you go and watch those afterwards. We'll put a link in the uh, top right hand corner to my other chestnut episodes. Um, this has been quite an adventure. I am absolutely thrilled. Most soap makers will tell you you cannot make soap without lye. Well, guess what? Nature does it, and we're, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, you do, however, need chestnuts. <laughs> so these saponins that make these bubbles, um, they actually are great cleaners. And coming from a house with special needs children, chestnuts. we'd give it a heavy-duty play. Round up with some water. And that could be your soap. It really could. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so you're gonna have this milky, thin soap. But that's, that's your cleaner, that's your complete completely natural cleaner like if you can't get any greener than horse chestnuts and water anybody <laughs> can make that there's your DIY this is a more palatable palatable using end user um, formulation and it's crude it's completely crude but I love it and I like it and it's easy because I have these things on hand you may not have these things on hand and you may just you know want to make it this way so go for it it's fine it's absolutely fine in fact I'm gonna give this a little Ooh, I shouldn't have done that <laughs> I'm gonna actually uh... okay <laughs> Bloopers, big day bloopers. I'm gonna have to um I'm gonna have to strain that before I can use this. I'm just gonna give it a little more of this the saponins and the natural formation, but I probably should have done this. Anywho, it does work. It is awesome. And you can make soap without light. Or you can make shampoo and laundry soap. Laundry detergent, surfactant, whatever you want to call it, without chemicals. You can't. It is possible. Now, if you're not into horse chestnuts or you're worried about some of the, um, we're not talking about consuming them. We're using them on our clothes, on our hair, on our skin. Do not eat these <laughs> unless you've been prescribed them. Um, and, and do so keeping in mind the, the very um, dangerous nature of this little beastie. Alrighty, so I'm gonna just do this. <clears throat> this, because this is just for me, and then I'm gonna do this so that I can can use my my shampoo, which I absolutely do adore. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It's good stuff, but I need something to hold on to, and that's why. I added the methyl cellulose and I am a fragrance whore. I love fragrance. I one of these days I'll show you my fragrance cupboard. It's a bit of a of a hoard in there. But that's okay. We all have our, we all have our, our um our obsessions, don't we? Me, it's supplies, being able to create anything with any flavor and any Oh, I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. So this will probably get fragrance because that's what I like. Um, in fact, I'll do it right now with you here because this is soaked enough so I can just, um, we will just, let's 
the best container. I've got, always got a container around here. Let's just use another beaker. Make sure you're in. We'll make another chestnut creation. Um, I've got lots of dishes right now. So many dishes. I'm actually going to kind of try to get every little bit of that. I don't care about the little bit of stuff. A little bit of brown bits don't bother me a bit. I just want all the saponins. All right, so that's what it looks like. You can make yours stronger, um, but we're going to make a dragon fruit one. Mm. I've been loving the dragon fruit. No, I don't think I want dragon fruit. <sighs> we're gonna make it diamonds and pearls. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that one's going to be nice on my hair. And let's do this right. Where's my little way measure? And an equal portion of polysorbate. I'm going to drag out my methyl cellulose. Oops. Where are you, baby? Darling, where have you gone? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Start talking to your soap supplies in there, your, in your main, um, when they're your main employees. Love this stuff. I'm going to have to make some more. This was actually something that I was originally creating as a, a hair gel. I was messing, me messing with copolymers. <laughs> that one's a fun one. So again, we're going to heat this up. Heat it and blitz it. Make it gorgeous. I'll bring you right back. I must say I am kind of in love with this um, this soap. <laughs> it's hot. It's gonna go up and down that little scroogey thing till it's done. I have another fun thing to test out all my fragrances on, and there are some bubbles, but not like you're gonna see in a detergent, synthetic detergent, or handmade soap, which has gone through a much more rigorous um, chemical process. Now, by grinding the nuts up and soaking them, you are processing it. It's not an unprocessed product. You can't just, you know, walk up to a, a chestnut tree and rub a nut in your hair. It just doesn't work that way. You kind of got to you gotta make it, but I haven't added any bubble to this at all. The polysorbate might contribute to that, but I highly doubt it because it did that before I added it. I know this stuff. Not fun. Oh, that's so much fun. Anyway, two separate sets. I don't want to mix them up too much. Super fun stuff. I hope, hope, hope if you have the chance to. Um, I'm going to make it even prettier. We're going to put a little sparkle in there. It's just going to fall to the bottom. But it's diamonds and diamonds and pearls. So i got to put a little bit in there. It's already kind of a pearl color, don't you think? So I'll just put a little 
extra sparkle in there. I don't mind having sparkle in my shampoo. I kind of like pearlizers. Anyway, if you would like to get yourself some chestnuts, ground chestnuts, they are available online. I do have a few available in my shop. Um, so I will be selling, I don't know, 50 gram packages. Um, the tablespoon you can make a liter. So, I mean, it doesn't take very much. I don't have a whole lot, so it's going to be small quantities. And, you know, maybe you can find a better supplier out there. But have fun if you decide to go the no chemical way or if you decide to, you know, bring the natural into the chemical into the natural <laughs> like I do. I like to play with it all. Um, if you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe. Come on back to my soapy kitchen anytime. We generally are working with actual soapy concoctions and this is in that category but no sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide was used in the creation of these soaps most of it nine tenths of it was mother nature thank you thank you for horse chestnut trees bye for now all righty so i am here to report on our hair shampoo made from water from the chestnuts from the horse chestnuts I'm just going to show it to you one more time. I actually like it a lot. Um, I mean, the viscosity is nice for holding. I don't mind that there's a few little drips, but it makes a nice little shampoo. Would I use it every day? It's kind you'd have to kind of use every day, uh, especially if you have long hair. But it makes your hair feel like silk. This is wonderful. And that's um, not unusual. I'm not really surprised. It has almost no lather. But lather's not what cleans. It's those saponins and how they break down the oils that actually provide the cleaning power and not, not just the bubbles. Bubbles are great, but this is a really good example of where bubbles aren't everything. Um, they do provide a nice feel, which is why a lot of our shampoos have a lot of bubble, but they're not the cleaning part of the formulation, which I know most of you aren't going to believe me <laughs> or you're going to be really surprised, but it's actually true. And I'm going to put a link below where you can read more about what can, can, constitutes cleaning power versus, um, um, skin feel or slip or <laughs> bubbles all of those things they're important at the end product but actually if you're looking for a completely natural soap and i you know i <laughs> there are people out here are going to completely counteract this is not natural because i've added methyl cellulose and i've added uh fragrance and i've added polysorbate 80 and i've added preservative but technically you wouldn't have to add all of those things to it to make it a completely natural soap and all you have to do is use the chestnut and the water and this is what you get i would however suggest that you do uh, fresh <laughs> each time if you're not going to add the thickeners and the other ingredients that I've shown you how to use. It's certainly a beautiful, beautiful soap. I hope you enjoyed this and you'll click like and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this and other things of a soapy or spicy nature. Bye for now.